Hey guys, I'm Julie, and this is our show, State of the Arts. I'll be giving you an inside look of the JT Margaret Talkington College of Visual Performing Arts. With classes back in session, our guy Aaron hit up Texas Tech students to find out how well they know our campus. What's up, YouTube? This is Aaron Chavarria, your college recruiter for Visual and Performing Arts, and this is Hitting the Bricks with Aaron. Let's go! Can you point to the School of Art building? School of Art building. School of Art. Uh, wait, that one right there? No, wait. Right there. There you go, okay. Uh, real quick, School of Music. Uh, right there. It's music. School of Music. Uh, over there? Theater building. Oh, I know this. It's that way. That's not right. Now this is a tough one. Creative Movement Studio. There you go. Awesome. Okay. One of our student projects done in virtual reality. Um, it's a paint. It's a picture of a famous painting. Can you name the painting? No. No. Okay. Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. Nice. What is our largest ensemble group in the School of Music? Oh, it's the. Uh... What is Football? it? Yeah, it's the marching band. Uh, the, the going band. The going, the going band. band from Rainland. I, knew it. I mean, you, you had the right idea. Yeah, I had the. I can like hear it in my head. 450 yeah. piece ensemble. It's, it's a huge. It's a big group. Right? We went to the games to watch them. If you don't know where it is and don't know what it is, <laughs> can you really be late? Take a look at how artists on the spectrum create a short animation with help from school art animators. We use animation, uh, animation making as therapy. Art therapy is about creativity, about how expressing yourself can help you. Animation brings that because you have to create a little doll, you have to make a drawing, you have to express yourself. In the process of achieving a goal as complex as a short animation, they learn certain aspects um, like preparation, anticipation, and then also working towards a goal. I met Dr. Ortega and Dr. Ortega last semester with my son, who is 12 years old with autism. We, per we were participants, and um, I just saw the remarkable changes in his ability to collaborate artistically with others. Over the past 10 years since his diagnosis, we participated in a lot of different interventions and targeting different behaviors, uh, different needs that my son has. And for this was the first time that we had participated in a project that was focused on the strengths. But it just always happened when he was in the classroom, uh, the focus is on his deficits. and. That's really frustrating. So this really gave him an opportunity to show off what he knows and build on his skills. And one of the things I wasn't expecting was to see how he grew collaboratively, um, how he was able to work with Jose. So I started speaking to him and then that's when I discovered that again, we had this mutual love for gory stuff. So. I just rehashed, it's still the, the same techniques, but then we, I let him integrate his stories there. So that, that switched something on in him and he became really um, into it. Each participant is extremely individual. Um, there's no preparation for uh, the reaction that we're gonna get from our participants. We need to be very receptive and also negotiate a lot in the process. We want to move this to the level of doing a study, uh, measuring specific things. Uh, Dr. Rafila and I, we created the first chapter in animation uh, studies. Our two graduate students, after working with their participants, they decided they wanted to collaborate in, in the conference and they're gonna be presenting two papers. I noticed last semester that an increase in the social interaction, in the ability to um, maintain attention, and also the pride of creating something and feeling that strong feeling of ownership. I saw him grow in his social skills and listening to others. and. Um, he very rarely let me into his creative process. 
So to see him share that with somebody was really unique and um, I saw how valuable it was. This has been your inside look at Visual Performing Arts at Texas Tech University. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget our Arts in the Snap show on Snapchat at TTU Arts. <laughs>